This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a hardhead brand padlock, one of several that was sent to me by Frederick in Sweden. It's a Chinese-made lock with a poorly hardened 13mm thick shackle, an iron lock body, and a 6-pin dimple core. Frederick got it at Jula Shop, a store he described to me as a quote, smaller, cheaper version of Home Depot in Sweden. Looking at the lock, the cheaper part of that description doesn't surprise me. The build quality of this is fairly low, particularly in terms of material selection. As you'd imagine, the core also leaves something to be desired, though surprisingly, I was not able to rake it open. I suspect that's because of extremes in the bidding. However, single pin picking is relatively straightforward, so we're going to give that a try now. I'm going to use a wiper insert as a turning tool and this multi-pick dimple flag. Nothing on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six is binding. Nice click there. Pulling back, I think I'm stuck behind four. Got a click there. Pulling back, I think I'm stuck between either two or three. That was two and got a click out of that. One, two, three, four. Okay, five is binding, click there. Nothing on six. Pulling back, we should just have three and one. And I'm stuck behind three. There we go, nice click out of three, click out of one. And we got this open. Okay, folks, no surprises in there and it obviously opened fairly quickly. So, it would appear that the US is not alone in finding inferior locks in big box stores. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.